So once your Azure DevOps account has been set up, time to create the organization. What are these organization? Organization in Azure DevOps is a way to segregate different teams or verticals in your company. Now you see that I have created a by default organization which is DevOps Code Red. I can create new organization as well. Let's suppose click on continue and I'm gonna create one more organization as engineering, engineering code red. You can host the site in, into any of your nearest data center and then hit the security options. Once done, click on continue. You can create as many as uh, organization you want to. Uh, these organizations are generally created to segregate one team's work from another so that they kind of don't get cumbersome. So you see that engineering code red has been created. Now I can create one more if I want to. Now this could be your software dev code red and then you can probably select on the same one. and hit the security so once this is done you would see all the organization kind of sitting on the left hand side of your panel and beneath one's organization you can create a project for your team and that's where your all your work would be done be it boards work items sprint planning your CI CD pipeline, any YAML, task, everything's gonna be sitting onto that project. So I'm gonna select the engineering one and create a project. Um, and give it a name, code red project. This is a house to save Azure boards. You get the option uh, to set the visibility, which is public or private. Obviously, you wanna keep the information is private. Once you've got the uh, private or public selected, you get to choose the work processes, whether you wanna select as a basic, agile, CMMI, or scrum. CMMI is capability maturity model integration. Basic is the ones wherein your team wants the simplest model that uses issues, tasks, and epics to track your work. Agile is the most common way of planning your tasks which kind of includes epics issues features user story task um, and bugs as well scrum is one more practice wherein you kind of your team works if you want to track projects backlog item and cmmi is the last one wherein your team kind of follows more formal project methods that require a framework for process improvements we're going to go with the agile one because that's the most common one and hit on create project hopefully that should um, let us create one if we go to home and click on the engineering one it has created one for us code red project and if you hit the project option you, you see on the left hand side you've got all your options available um, and we're gonna in this in this video we're gonna be talking about the boards boards are the one wherein we would be focusing our features for the day with Azure boards your team can manage uh, the software project so let's suppose you want to you're kind of creating one software for your clients and you want somewhere to keep a track of what's happening within your team Azure board is the place which is which wherein you kind of streamline your work and and kind of track what's happening we're going to start with the work items work items are generally the area which kind of to track the features and requirements you're developing um, maybe code defects bugs any any smallest objects you want to track for your projects or your software development lifecycle you work item is the place where you want to create so how do you create a work item you click on the new item right over here and choose the type of work item you want to create uh, probably a bug in your login system so you click on the bug and then start creating the bug for you uh, you give it a name bug as bug in the 
login page probably you're creating a CRM system and in your login page you see a bug uh, you can assign to any of the team member uh, if I have a team member you can probably select the team member I am gonna select the same one it's gonna load up whatever team member you have click on that user uh, you can select the straight right from here is it is new at the moment and and then you can define um, the tags over here tags are basically defined to filter out list of issues bugs in 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 the form of queries we're gonna for now we're gonna add it as a bug and in our next video we're going to see how you can utilize these tags you can add multiple tags as well and in the discussion you can kind of add uh, retro steps retro step uh, and the system info there was a you can add the system info as there was a bug what, whatever description you want to want to put over here there was a bug in the login page and then you can start discussion with something like as common maybe AKS DevOps Sean and hit enter there was a bug in the login and you can kind of could you please check let this people this this person working on the bug let them know that there was an error and this guy would be notified you get a rich text editor which kind of gives you an option to probably bold or italic whatever whatever feature you want to you know pull out from your text editor once you're done you can kind of you can in, in fact put your code over here as well if needed be and you kind of hit save and this and then you can probably use a reaction as well um, whether did you like or not you can go ahead and edit the comments as well whenever needed and the second there are other options which you can kind of uh, once you've created a bug you can kind of go over here and see the history what has been done this was created a couple of seconds back so it kind of shows you as a new one and then you go to the attachment section add a link right over here as well um, and then you can add the attachment any any screenshots of the bug any architecture diagram or anything you can add an existing item as well let's suppose the bug is associated one of the stories already exist one of the item which already exists you can click on the existing one or create a new item as well if needed be uh, and kind of mention that this bug needs to have a task and task would be re write the login feature comment to put a comment as well if needed be and then hit on ok and this would have a task right over here task would be created to this person and then the same cycle wherein you have the history you can add a new task and you can add an attachment as well hit save and close and you would see that you have a task right beneath your bug if you go to the work item you would see that there are two work items being created now one with the bug and other one with the feature so if you go over here you can add the tag over here as well this one was a task and you can add one more tag as test and if you can kind of hit save is this would uh, kind of save your task how do you how do you kind of uh, leverage the tags you have added you can kind of use them into the queries let's suppose you wanted to get list of all the stories or work items which has a tag as probably test so you can click on new query and work item time field operator is contains and then if 
probably go to field would be rather tags and then contain value is test if you run the query it would list all the task we have with the value as tags value as test and and it kind of kind of list you all the all the stories or our work items which has a tag as task and since we have only got one work item at the moment we we could only get one so that's how you kind of uh, create your work items you can kind of save this query if needed be um, I can go ahead and save this query so that you can probably test tag probably if you need it later you can rerun it from the saved query as well if you go to the work items you would see that you've got only two over here however you can create multiple work items epic one maybe give it a description and then this the process goes pretty much same you add the description this was created as part of the project kickoff and then the description wherein you kind of search all right you don't have any users with the name of devops at the moment you've only got only one users please complete the epic description and you kind of get save you can add the link as well um, if you got a new item or the existing one um, if you have already got one child and you can kind of get list of existing work item which is already being created and add the work item into a particular epic so this epic one epic one has already been attached to an existing bug which was a bug we just created a few seconds back and kind of hit save so now this bug bug one would be part of the epic and there's kind of a parent child relationship that this epic has a bug which needs to be solved likewise you can create features as well if you go over here you can kind of create user stories and give a description as story to create to create authentication and you go to the acceptance criteria um, auth mechanism then testing and things like that and in the description you can add a few more details you can add the tag right over here that our tags could be infra and you can probably feel later find that with the tags as well if you go to the if you hit the save button and you go back and you see that your work item has now four items already been created with one of them couple of them are not assigned and couple of them are assigned so in this video we saw how you can start tracking your work and now these work could be anything could be a story epic a bug test cases task as well you saw how you can kind of maintain a child and parent relationship under an epic you can have multiple tasks or bugs and each story could have multiple tasks as well we saw how you do how you can assign a tag to your user story and then you can list down all your stories or work items bases on a query we saw how you can put a query just like uh, just like we did wherein we kind of pulled all the stories with a tag as test and then we saved that query as well all right that's pretty much all in the next video we're going to see how you can kind of maintain your board and then before that we're going to see on the backlogs as well how, what what are backlogs and how you can maintain the backlog and how you can elevate your work items or stories written into your backlog into your board. That's it for now. I'll see you in a while.